Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing how I install my lace front wig. Today's wig is from Mix Gloria and is in the length 20. It's a lace front wig, not a full lace wig. So I will be showing you guys the stocking cap method again. I am not quite sure if I'm very good at it yet, but I decided to try it again with you guys. So I actually thought I'll be doing this as a series, you know, showing you guys how I apply my lace wigs full lace wig, lace frontal, lace closure and all that stuff. I thought it'd be nice to do more air series for you guys so keep an eye on my channel and stay tuned for more. So let's get started. The air came in this box. It says 100% human hair. Need details and the type of hair that they offer at the back of the box. And I'm just going to open the box for you guys to see. There is a lace wig in the box obviously and there's also a black wig cap in the box also an eyelash in the box and the last but not the least item in the box is a cute little Christmas gift card right here it says Merry Christmas hope you can have a good memory with us right there this is what the hair looks like I like how bouncy the curls are so the hair is a legs front wig in the length 20. This is what the front of the hair looks like. So that's what the hair looks like in the back. So this is the cap of the wig. It has the pin right here. One in the middle and one on the, the cap of the wig right there. So it's the lace front wig, it's not a full lace wig. It has an elastic strap in case you want to adjust the wig at the back hole. In case the wig is too big or too small then you can adjust it with the elastic strap. It's really full and I think it's true to length. It depends. I'm going to wear it first and let you guys know what I think about the hair. But so far so good. I'm loving the texture of the hair. I'm loving the fact that the hair is not you know, shedding or tangling as I stroke my hair through my hands through you guys should bear in mind that I'm not a professional at this so I'm just you know showing you guys the learning process of doing the stocking cap method so do not judge me okay we are learning how to do this together so if I get it right fine if I don't don't judge me okay <laughs> I'm going to push the wig cap forward apply the dirty beauty I'm just going to cut the cap. I'm going to take the gutty big glue spray right here. I'm going to spray that all over my hair so that the powder will be able to stick on my cap so now that i'm done with cutting the cap i'm going to take the huda beauty the big powder right here So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take the Gotta Be Glued right here. I have that on the back of my hand and I'm just going to apply that lightly on my hair, on my forehead. So now that I'm done with that, I am going to try and apply the wig on my head. I'm 
too easy to use a scarf to you know press the hair down So I'm going to take the got to be spray right here. I'm going to spray that on the hair. Wow, the hair took to curls really well. Look at that. Wow, I like that. So this is what it looks like. So this is where the lens got to. I like the fact that it felt really soft and no tangling whatsoever. You can already see how the curls bounce back when I run my hand through it. I'm actually loving this actually. But it's really soft but you can still use the pin at the back to attach the hair straight to your wig cap so that's an option for you in case you want to put this hair up ponytail but for me I'm going to be sticking with a fat style like this but in terms of quality wise the hair felt really soft and true to length I like the fact that it holds curls really really well it's at the middle of your hair and you know hold it up like a ponytail but for me I'm just going to leave the hair like this style it however you please to but for today I am sticking to a center part the hair felt really nice, hair doesn't tangle or have a bad smell to it. I also like the fact that the hair is actually true to length and the curls are quite bouncy. When I run my hand through, the curls come back bouncing again, so which is quite nice. I'm quite loving the hair so far and I'm still going to update you guys later about the hair. But so far so good, I'm loving it, it's very very soft. It's very very affordable and it's easy to apply and I also like the fact that, that the hair has actually come pre-plucked straight from the box but in terms of the quality of the hair I'm actually loving the hair so far a few seconds just for you guys to see using a wand so I'm just going to bring that out so this is what the hair looks like when I use a small one and you can also straight the air if you like so depending on what you really want to go for i am loving it like this it felt really really nice and soft to touch it doesn't shed or have that horrible smell at all and it's also true to length which i'm quite loving that's my thoughts about miss gloria's hair so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and i'll see you in my next one bye guys